prepare as Raul said on your system design on um, your technical discussion skills that will be absolutely helpful um, in order for you to crack the tech rounds. Welcome back to another career clip from Find a Job in Germany. I'm Raul and I'm here today with my partner Tamo. Hi. Guys, we talked already about Java and backend uh, jobs for Java developers. Now we want to have a closer look on JavaScript Node.js. JavaScript jobs, uh, specifically Node.js jobs, are highly on demand and we want to talk about what skills you need and what tools you need to handle and uh, you need to perform with, okay? So, Tamo, let's jump in. We have prepared a job description to talk more about um, the market needs. Um, guide us a little bit. What skills are needed and explain also the uh, position here, please. Exactly. We took a one example job description just to highlight a few key, key skills for you, um, which you should prepare if you want to apply for jobs in Germany. So what you see right here, um, we start with the requirement section. So we, they say seven years of back-end development experience in total. So one thing, one remark here, you see the job market at the moment is competitive. So um, you need, generally speaking, we say you need to have at least five years at the moment to have a fair chance to land a job here. They say two years of experience in Node. Ideally, you have more and strong experience with RDA BMF, so you need to be good in uh, relational database management. Now, a very important thing, good unit and integration testing experience. We cannot emphasize on that enough. Writing clean code and doing proper testing is absolutely key um, for German companies. We see that it's by far the biggest mistake people do in their coding challenges, for example, that they do not write unit test cases, right, Raul? Correct, definitely, and are not aware of the importance of the code coverage. Huh? Yeah. What, um, what code coverage do most companies want? I, I would say it's a standard that you have 90, huh? but 80 between, between 80 and 90 is um, what you should have. Okay, here, next point, experience with message brokers, absolutely key especially nowadays with microservice architectures and so on. So having experience with microservices is absolutely key. And then having worked with um, RabbitMQ, Kafka or similar message brokers is very, very important nowadays. Yeah. Let's turn to the nice to have section. What is worth mentioning for you guys since you are international applicants? You most likely need to fulfill most of those nice to have criteria as well because to have a chance if you're applying from outside of Germany you need to be and I would say 85-90% match to that position in order that the company will consider you for an interview. What do they mention here? Experience with GraphQL, very important. So study GraphQL if you've only worked on REST APIs and so on, study GraphQL. Then next thing, very experienced, cloud right? They mentioned GCP or AWS. I would advise you focus on AWS for, I would say, 70-80% of the jobs you need to have a good AWS um, experience because most companies here work in an AWS and, and then Azure and then GCP, I would say. Huh? Exactly. Then experience with uh, gRPC framework, protobuffers, and very, very important as well, understanding of solid principles, which brings me back to the clean um, code approach, which we mentioned earlier. So use solid principles. Also, you know, have an idea about TDD, test-driven development, and so on and so forth. What is not mentioning here in this job description is... I would say a few things. Um, uh, it's because it's a senior backend engineer position, you should be very good also on the architecture side, uh, system design and so on, event-driven architecture. Um, they already mentioned microservices. Um, but this is something that you should be able to communicate to show what you have done. Um, but also we see that um, in that position as a senior, on a senior level, the DevOps part becomes also important. We mentioned already here the importance of cloud, but also you should know how to build CI CD pipelines and uh, using Jenkins, uh, for example, but oh, GitLab. GitLab, exactly. And um, 
also when we talk about microservices to be able to deploy them on Kubernetes. Uh, so Kubernetes, containerization, containerization well, Docker. Docker orchestration um, is very, very important and we can say it's a standard here. It becomes a standard and uh, if you worked on it, please point that out as well. Exactly. Um, I think that covered a lot. Um, so if you are short on one of the key skills which we mentioned here, um, try to brush up on them, work on them. Um, you need to have experience on those skills and you need to be able to bring that across effectively. So next to those skills, work on how you present them, how you do technical discussion in the tech round. So you not only need to be um, ready to explain about those technologies, you also need to um, explain why you would choose them and um, not only what you do, but also why you do that and why you are not preferring a different um, uh, way for your solution. So. Prepare, as Raul said, on your system design, on um, your technical discussion skills. That will be absolutely helpful um, in order for you to crack the tech rounds. And don't forget that we also, uh, as we discussed already in our success videos with our coaches who landed a job here, that companies here really pay attention on quality. Huh? And on the details, yeah. Uh, if you have um, a profile which would fit to that kind of job description, get in touch with us. Watch our 15 minutes video training, which you find below this video. Get in touch. We assess your profile. If we find it interesting, we're going to work with you. We're going to help you to crack one of those job offers. Usually that takes two to three months. Um, and then you're going to be working in Germany and setting the standards high for others. <laughs> so uh, enjoy that. Take care. All the best and see you very soon.